Hey there everybody, now welcome back to another review. Today, I'll be doing another very traditional classic. For most of you Asians in the Pomade community, you'll be um, most likely very well acquainted with this pomade, but for those of you who are from the Western world, I doubt whether you've even ever heard the stuff, but if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you've probably heard me refer to it a few times already. It is the legendary Tancho Pure Nourishing Vegetable Pomade, which is actually the most famous Asian pomade. So, what's unique about this? First of all, it comes in one of these yellow boxes over here. It is actually a Japanese pomade, but it's manufactured by home country, Indonesia, which is why it's so widely available and really cheap in there. But I was in Singapore uh, last week, so I got it at um, Mustafa Center, that is not very far from Little India. The container itself is a white red plastic container like this, with a screw top. Um, Township pomade actually comes in multiple sizes, you even have the very tiny 20 gram size, you have your average 60 or most of the time 80 gram size the pomade, but I got the 130 grams, which is the um, largest one available. And I think that is a pretty good size. It is, I think, if I'm not wrong, over five ounces, probably about this, more or less the same amount as Royal Crown pomade, I think more than that actually. Okay, so right over here, you would see that uh, the pomade itself is covered by a plastic label over it to protect the product and it says Tancha all over it. Now, for your delight, I'm gonna show you something very, very satisfying. I'm just gonna peel this away right over here. Now that is just some eye candy for y'all. Okay, now the pomade is really, really funky color. It is green. Well, most of your traditional pomades are white or yellow, those kind of greasy colors, but this one, well, it's green. And it looks very uh, much like jelly. Like, it's a very gelatinous appearance to it. And you can tell it's also very shiny in the can already. I love the smell, it is quite Asian, and it is indeed a really sweet scent. I would describe it as being lavender, but it somehow reminds me of the scent um, of my grandparents' bathroom. Actually, you would get a, a very slight hint of jade in there, but it's mostly lavender. It's a very classic, um, old-school Asian scent, and I like it a lot. Scooping it out, like this, it's really, really easy to scoop out, nice and greasy. And, wow, as you can see, once you put it on your fingers, you would think it's gonna wobble or something like that, because it really, really does look like jello, it's just, Take a look at the texture of it, and boy, it is shiny. Very light texture, it's pretty um, gooey and greasy, and it is very, very sticky. It is probably the stickiest pomade I've ever used. Um, well, it's kind of as sticky as Dax Wave and Groom, actually, but this stuff is a light medium, as you'd probably expect, and it's the stickiest light medium you'd ever expect. Because most light mediums are just straight up greasy, while well, this one is like greasy and gooey and it's very sticky. Just look at it, guys. Over here. You would no longer see any of that green color, but you'd see a very oily layer in the hands. Applying it to the hair. A tiny bit of resistance. And as you can see, there's a really beautiful shine to it. And heads up, guys. 
This is single most the shiniest pomade I have ever encountered in my entire life and it's amazing. It just gives you a very spot on wet shine. If you really, really like that wet greasy look, then this is for you. Some people don't actually like it because the shine is way too much for them. But even just a little dab of stuff would just give you like a blinding shine even more so than a royal crown hairdressing, which some people actually believe is the shiniest thing out there. And I've never used the American Brill Cream, but I believe, according to um, the photos I see, this is actually shinier than the American Brill Cream. So this is probably um, the shiniest hair product. If, I don't know if it's the shiniest hair product out in the market nowadays, but it should be one of the shiniest out there. So, the more you apply it to your hair, the thing is, it feels even more resistant because, like I said before, this pomade is really, really sticky. Therefore, the more of it you apply to your hair, the stickier it gets. Like, you'd really feel some kind of tackiness to it. And, okay. It's time to style. Ooh, crazy hair right there. Just get to styling it right now. What's really, um, the most difficult part about styling this is the stickiness, actually. That's what mostly give it its hold. You can see that, um, unlike other light mediums like Murray Super Light or Sweet Georgia Brown Red, uh, my comb usually goes in through easy with this one, but this one, when I comb, when I glide my comb across my hair, it looks like I'm slicking through a new dial or something, because um, the stickiness of it makes it very, um, not very, it just makes it quite resistant. And yes guys, a very, very wet shine. If you hadn't noticed already. <laughs> When I had um, longer hair, I actually um, had like pretty long hair for the last two years. I was actually able to do a decent pompadour with this, nothing too high. And it's like a Johnny Cash kind of pomp, so it's like a low profile side part of pompadour. That is very round and very forward. If I'm indoors, it held up through most of the day. However, if I'm outdoors, especially in the very, very hot climate where I'm from, Indonesia, obviously. Um, it would melt a little bit, and you really, really need to recomb your hair. Otherwise, the stickiness would just, uh, your hair would just become one messy and sticky, greasy mess out in the heat. The styling of it is actually not that easy compared to most other light medium pomades, but it's still um, easier than your conventional true medium pomade and a lot easier than heavier pomades. But for a light pomade, well, this is like along the lines of a light medium. It's got um, a little more hold than Royal Crown pomade because it's sticky. Drink again, guys. Just count the number of times I said sticky and shiny in this review. Because that's really what this pomade is. Now this pomade I'd say is straight up a brilliant time. Just seriously, take a look at that sexy shine right there. And I shall conclude my styling with a couple of final combs at the back. And there you go. I should call it about done right now. Oop, um, some strands of flyaways at the sides. This pomade, I believe, 
is one of the best um, hair products that actually work on finer and thin Asian hair and also like mine especially and um, average thickness of Asian hair. However, guys with thick Asian hair, I, I can't really speak for that. However, um, because this is made by Asian people, it is made for Asian people. So that is why it's one of the best Asian pomades um, in the market. Like, take a look at Murray's, for example. Why do you think Murray's is very, very waxy and such a heavy holding pomade? It's because it's designed for unruly, thick and curly African-American hair. And at the same time, Tantra right here is actually really sticky because Asian hair, as we all know, tend to get like really poofy in the side. So the stickiness just helps um, to keep your straight hair down, your straight hairs down. But that is why this pomade has a really, really nice slickness to it. Its stickiness gives its hold and slickness, and that's what I appreciate about this pomade. Some people may not like how sticky it is, but personally, that's what I think is the one that really gives it character. So, this pomade is really, really unique by itself. Now I'll show you how my contour looks. It's ultimately a very, very wet looking updo. A straight, clean part right over there. And here's one more interesting thing I really, really forgot to mention. This pomade is a true innovation of its time. Because it is petro-free, it contains absolutely no trace of petroleum. Just take a look at the ingredients over here. It is based on castor oil, and you also have your um, fruit wax, fragrance, BHT, and uh, some coloring. That's really what gives it this green color, the um, artificial coloring over there. That's, that's um, one of the few factors I don't like about this pomade, because really, without the coloring, it could be... I actually don't really know what its color would be like without the coloring, because... To me, the green coloring of Tancho is one of the things that really gives it its character and its um, vibe. It's what, one of the things that make it stand out compared to other pomades. However, I actually think the color is pretty, the artificial coloring is pretty unnecessary at the same time. So, uh... I don't really know what else to say about this pomade. It's overall um, a very um, special one. It is one of my favorites and one of my first. And this is actually a nice beginner's pomade as well because this washes up pretty easy actually. And it even goes off in only one wash. So after I'm done speaking right here, I shall show you how it holds throughout the rest of the day and build up as well. All right, so about five hours has passed since I first put it on my hair. And the great news is that you can still see that very high wet greasy shine. It is exactly the same as it was when I first put it on my hair. And it is no less wet than what it was when I first put it in. And about its hold. My hair feels a lot less sticky right now. That may be good news to some. However, I mentioned earlier that most of its holding properties come from its stickiness. Therefore, after it sets, when it gets less sticky, you'd expect the hold to decrease as well. That is why the front of my contour, which is normally swept backwards in this area, is now um, downward to flop a little bit because it lost hold right there. However, I still have enough hold to generally um, have the same height as it did when I first styled my hair. And more about its hold. I have one curl popping up. I don't know whether you can see it. It's right over there. So because it lost its hold just slightly, um, the natural form of my hair just started to um, bring itself out, but not completely. It has enough slickness to actually um, keep most of it back in place, just that one strand 
just got a little unruly and just start curling up. But it still has enough um, slickness, decent slickness to actually keep my hair completely, almost completely in place. Alright, second day of build up with Tancho over here. Build up is a very light and gradual feeling because obviously it's a non-waxy one. Even though it contains fruit wax, which is a very soft wax, you would really not expect any of that heavy feeling on your head. In fact, the um, build up sensation is light, it's almost unnoticeable. But the good thing is, even though you can't feel it there, you know it's there because it proves itself there. When you style with it, even on build up, you are able to get um, more hole from it from the previous days, but just um, very slightly. As you can see now, I have like a decent pompadour with um, decent height. But then throughout the day, you would notice that I have some stray hairs over there, some flyaways. This is an issue on the first couple of days of buildup, but after a week, you wouldn't really notice that anymore. But then because um, Tancho is non-waxy, but very sticky, this raises the question, does it get any more sticky throughout the week as you apply more and more? The truth is, no. And that's good news, because the styling and stickiness feels exactly how it was on the first day of application, so you would not have any more of that um, sticky feeling. It just feels like how it is, slightly sticky at first, and then it sets. Styling as well, not any more difficult, not any easier, it's just exactly the same. And when it gets less sticky throughout the day, when it sets, flyaways appear, that's when your comb comes in really handy. Okay, um, here's one thing I feel that is uh, really necessary to add. For those of you who want to do pompadours, Tancho is a lot better for anyone between a medium and longer length of hair. For short hair, you would have to wait for like almost a week's worth of buildup before you get like not much of um, flyaway issues with this. Like, I mean, throughout the week you get less flyaways, but then it's still an issue in the first few days throughout the week. Um, I had like much longer hair last year. My bangs reached all the way up to my lips and my sides were enough to do with DA. And I actually styled uh, a pompadour with Tancho and I got no flyaway issues at all, even on the first day of styling. For contours, Tancho is great for shorter hair, but pompadours, you would really have to wait till um, almost the end of the week for longer hair. It is really good for conservative pumps, kind of almost like, I'd call it, a cross, an Asian version between a cross of Royal Crown and Dax Vegetable Oils Pomade. So, my final verdict on this. Best shine I have ever seen. Slickness is good, but not great, because, I mean, you have really um, awesome slickness when you first style with it. Like, everything is just tight and all, but when it just sets, you would have more flyaways and it loses slickness. That's why I rated it good, but not the best. But overall, um, if you see Tancho, you should go give it a try because it's really cheap stuff and it's decent. It's pretty legendary. It's from the year 1933 and it's really um, ahead of its time because Petro Free, it's based off in castor oil. So that wraps us my, my review. And oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention uh, throughout the day about its scent. It's very um, strong at first in the jar, but eventually when you put it in your hair, it gets um, less powerful. It's it's apparent. You would notice that you'd get a couple of whips, whiffs of the uh, scent throughout the day, but then you would not find it to be powerful or overbearing if that um, if the scent's an issue for you, because some people don't like the scent, some people like it. It's entirely up to you, but personally, I actually like the scent. So that wraps up my review over here. Till the next review.